Film Companion gets you your film fix. Hit the bell icon and subscribe to get notified every time we drop a new video. 50 years ago, a lanky, deep-voiced actor burst onto the screens in a little scene film named Saath Hindustani. 50 years later, Hindi cinema seems unimaginable without him. His name, of course, is Amitabh Bachchan and on his birthday, we celebrate him by curating some of his most memorable scenes in Hindi cinema. Rishikesh Mukherjee's classic Anand has Bachchan playing Dr. Bhaskar Banerjee, a cancer specialist. He's brooding, even rude. But a terminally ill patient Anand, played by Rajesh Khanna at his best, teaches him how to find joy in life. The clincher is the death scene, in which Bhaskar enters the room seconds after Anand dies and hears his voice on the tape recorder. Anand's booming joie de vivre contrasts with his inert body and Bhaskar responds with anger as though fury could work a miracle. It's unforgettable. Meanwhile, Abhiman works at many levels. Bachchan is Subir, a famous singer whose grand passion for his wife frays when she becomes more successful than him. This is a complex role of a man whose insecurities make him unlikable. In a wonderful scene, he lashes out at Uma, played by Jaya Bachchan. She offers to stop singing and he bitterly says, Do you think I'm jealous? He has tears in his eyes because he recognises his own frailty but can't stop himself. It's heartbreaking. In Shole, in the scene outside the train station, Jay and Viru meet Basanti. Viru is instantly smitten. Jay, though, is annoyed. It's always Basanti this, Basanti that. En route, she asks Viru his name and when he replies, she says he hasn't asked her what her name is. Jay asks from behind, Tumhara naam kya hai Basanti? Bachchan lets the zinger fly with such lazy insouciance, it doesn't matter that we don't even see his face. Coming to the war, Peter, tum log mujhe dhoon rahe ho, aur main tumhara yaha intazar kar raha tha. Drawls dockyard kuli Vijay as he locks the door of the villain's den and takes on a bunch of goons in an unequal fight. Unequal because none of them has even a fraction of the searing intensity that Vijay has been carrying within him since childhood. Interestingly, this is Divar's only full-blown fight scene, but it possesses a corrosive power not seen in the 50 years of Hindi cinema that preceded it. In Kabhi Kabhi, Pooja is interviewing Amit on television. He takes this opportunity to remind her of his unrequited love. Bachchan makes sure that Amit's hurt is palpable as he takes a passive-aggressive approach towards Pooja. He turns his interview into an inquisition of Pooja instead. But the coup d'etat is his recitation of the poet Sahir Ludhyanvi's immortal nazm, Kabhi Kabhi. As he recites the lines, Bhatak rahi hai andhero mein zindagi meri, inhi andhero mein reh jaunga kabhi khokar. In his baritone, Bachchan plumbs the depths of melancholy, despondency and pathos. Ludhyanvi would have been proud. Meanwhile, as the drunken Anthony Gonzalez, who attempts to bandage his mirror image after getting beaten up by Zabesco, Bachchan is a laugh riot. Gonzalez can't stand straight, yet he goes on with a constant dose of steady, steady, steady. Speaking in typical Bambaya Bhasha, his language laced with words like Thopra, Jadia and Suntaich, Bachchan plays the Tapori Anthony Bhai character to perfection. In Dawn, five minutes into the film, the audience has its second meeting with the eponymous character played by Bachchan. Dressed in a three-piece suit, Bachchan swivels in his chair and fires two bullets at the man in front of him. He then lights a cigarette, pours himself whiskey and says, Cheers, gentlemen, to his flabbergasted gangster crew. Pestered by them for a reasonable explanation, Bachchan sets up Dawn as an unflustered, clever and cold-blooded assassin with a penchant for zingy one-liners. Such is his swag that after revealing the murdered man to be a police informant, he casually asks for another drink, please. Oof, too much. Silsila was perhaps the first time a mainstream Hindi film with A-list stars dealt with adultery. When former lovers Amit and Chandni meet after years, they can't stay away from each other. The pinnacle of their passion is the holy song, Rang Barse. Amit drinks bhang, staring with desire at Chandni who blushes under the gulal. 
and then all masks of propriety fall away. The song is sly and provocative with lines like Bela chameli ka sej bichhaya, soe gori ka yaar, balam tar se rang barse. Bachchan's expressions underline the meaning further, but his brilliance is that he never toppled over into lewd. In Agnipat, Vijay goes to Mauritius to meet uber villain Kancha China, who decades ago destroyed Vijay's happy family and caused his father's death. The wily Kancha goads minor villain Terilene to attempt killing Vijay. Director Mukulanan pulled out the big guns for the assassination sequence that starts with Vijay coming off a plane, getting into a car and then eventually getting on a speedboat with Terilene in hot pursuit in a helicopter. The boat explodes and Kancha, curiously wearing a cravat and suit on the beach, pops champagne. But the celebrations are premature. Vijay emerges from the water, white suit intact and faces his nemesis. And finally, in Piku, Anand's stern doctor Bhaskar Banerjee returned as a hypochondriac old man with all the typical quirks and idiosyncrasies of a cantankerous Bengali uncle. Households in Kolkata and Chitranjan Park laughed along as the old Mr. Banerjee made his eccentric pronouncements insulting people for their lack of what he considered education and intelligence. In a hilarious dinner conversation with Maushmi Chatterjee, Bhaskar Babu mumbles illiterate under his breath before declaring, Sirf low IQ wala log hi shadi karta hai. The scene is a delightful exposition of the character's humor, helplessness, sensitivity, and intelligence. It was emotion in motion. Did we miss out on your favorite Bachchan scenes? Share your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs>